Well, on reporting this 47cc pocket bike engine, I've never done a porting job on these engines, but you know, I figure it should be the same as pretty much every two stroke engine. Um, yeah, this motor here, this particular one, has been rebuilt twice. Once with new piston and cylinder, then another time with just a new piston. And it's it's getting a bit sad again. You know, this, these are racing engines, so they get the shit beaten out of them. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it could use a rebuild, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the cylinder off. I've already gone ahead and uh, loosened up the four... Allen wrench bolts that hold the cylinder on. There they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen them up, but then I'll I'll pull the cylinder off. Well, I've got the cylinder off now. The piston is in very good shape. A little bit of scoring up on the the top near the ring gap, but overall it's very good. Same with the board is in very nice shape as well. So when you're doing porting, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make smoother and also bigger the transfer ports which are uh, there and, and there and the best way to do it is with like a Dremel or a similar small tool um, yeah you're just going to want to just open them up just so they're so they're you know larger but you're, you're going to want to not do it too much like around the bore because you'll make the you'll make the bore slightly like oval shaped and the rings might get caught in it so don't do that but so just avoid the edges but just inside of here and of there just want to smooth that out and make it bigger so I'm gonna get my Dremel tool out and uh, show how to do that so I've got the Dremel tool out here it's got this smooth like a stone sort of attachment and I've gone ahead and move the, the bottom end way over there because there's little bits of metal will go flying and you don't want that so what you're just going to want to do is just take the, the Dremel tool and just work it in like around here and just all through that just take off a little bit so, it's, so it winds it up a little bit but don't go towards the edge so I'll go ahead and uh, start on that Yeah, so you're just going to want to do that sort of thing. See how the surface is all roughed up in there compared to on that side? Yeah, I'm just going to continue with that, just tacking it with the Dremel a little bit more and widen that port up real good. Well, most of the Dremel work is done now. And it's, it's looking pretty good. It feels pretty smooth, too. I also uh, Dremeled the exhaust port, just made that nice and smooth and opened up a bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, clean that up real good with a rag and some PB Blaster or WD-40 and then I'm just going to go to my buddy's house and use his compressor and then uh, just, just blow tons of air in there and just get all the little metal shavings out because you're not going to want that because that'll go ahead and ruin your your piston and your cylinder once you run it. Sweet. Oh yeah. Love that kind. Oh, I love that kind. Love that kind. Sweet. You want some of the bitch record? Oh, yeah, big times. So you're just gonna want to get the areas that you dremeled and just chooch. Same with the exhaust. It's also a good idea to pull the plug out of there and just chooch it through there and then it'll blow all the crap out the bottom end of the cylinder. Yeah, but that's pretty much how you uh, clean it up there and uh, yeah, after I'm cleaning it up I'm going to put up, do something cool to it probably. Then we'll cheat. Alright, right here we have a uh, Motorhead Greg's pocket bike. He's the one with the compressor. He's going to talk about it and uh, how cool it is. It's my 47cc CAG. I bought it uh... USA Pocket Bikes a few years back, they're a piece of trash, I never buy for them. 
and uh, freaking, I pretty much rebuilt the whole motor since then. I got. A we port. did. We did the top end like once. What are you talking about? We didn't rebuild the well, whole engine. A whole different, whole different bottom end. Oh yeah, it is a whole different bottom end. Whole different bottom end. Sure. And, uh, Racing has a, clutch, isn't it? Yeah, it has a forty mil. Uh, well, the stock, the forty millimeter bore piston. I was going to do the forty-four millimeter big bore, but then it seized up when the clips came out. So I was not freaking good. I remember so that. We just put the stock one back on, and then yeah, that's pretty much about it. Custom paint, it right? Yeah, custom paint. Looks good. It's though. got some different mods to it. I realigned the chain because it was shipped from the factory. It has a metal pull start. Uh, I just replaced the gasket and the the pet cop because this one broke. Got an extra one laying around, and I put one on. Is it run now? Uh, yeah, it, it runs, but it doesn't want to go because of the shitty gas. Into oh, it. it sucks, bud. Maybe I can start it real it quick. It sucks, bud. Maybe. I can start it. Oh, stick. Oh, there's no plug in it. Oh, yeah, that's right. No plug in it. Oh, that'll, that'll, oh. that'll, that'll do it. That'll, that'll do, do it. it. That'll do it. Yeah, we need to, we need to freaking put this on my new engine when it comes. And I bet you it's going to rip. Yeah. It's a bit of bit of um just a bit of what's the word sort of ex explorative tuning so to speak yeah i bet it's gonna rip so yeah that's that's how to port your uh your pocket bike engine top end thing yeah thanks for watching